Fuchs dystrophy is a condition, and a dystrophy in the cornea is actually something that affects the cornea, and to our knowledge, doesn't affect anything else in the body. So there's a variety of these conditions, and the most common one that really leads to needing treatment is Fuchs dystrophy. And Fuchs dystrophy is relatively common. We really don't know what the real incidence is. I've heard things up to 2%, 10%. You know, the problem is, is that for many years, many doctors haven't really told patients when they actually have Fuchs dystrophy. And there's a number of situations where people may have one or two of the little spots on the back of the cornea called gutte. And is that Fuchs dystrophy or not? We don't know. But to have significant Fuchs dystrophy is probably somewhere between, well, we'll say below one or two percent. And these are people where the gutte, the little bumps on the back of the cornea, are actually doing one of two things, scattering the light like little bumps on the back of a bathroom window, or causing disruption of the ability to take fluid out of the cornea from the cells next to them, the endothelial cells, where fluid builds up and the cornea begins to get cloudy. And when that happens, very often the vision's worse in the morning after you've been asleep all night with your eyes closed. But that doesn't happen to everyone. And in the past, it was thought that it was just the edema that affected vision. But now with some of the newer procedures we have that we'll talk about, like Demec, where vision comes back very rapidly and very clearly, we know that even without edema, these gutte, the backs on the back of the cornea, do cause significant visual uh, problems.